first part of the brain forebrain it is further divided into three parts cerebellum thalamus and hypothalamus this cerebellum is further divided into two hemispheres or two halves known as right cerebral hemisphere and left cerebral hemisphere and these two hemispheres are interconnected to each other by corpus callosum cerebral this cerebellum is protected by an outer layer known as cerebral cortex which is also known as gray matter because the cell bodies of neurons is concentrated in this region this cerebral cerebral uh, cortex is responsible for motor activities and sensory activities here in this region we can see motor as well as sensory areas and there are few area or few areas present which can neither be distinguished completely into motor or sensory they have been shown to perform both the functions and hence these areas are known as association areas hypothalamus is responsible for maintenance of body temperature controlling the urge to eat or to drink and it also have certain neurosecretory cells and hence responsible for the secretion of certain hormones thalamus thalamus performs motor plus sensory signaling this hypothalamus is when this hypothalamus works with limbic system together they both control sexual as well as emotional behavior midbrain midbrain is the part of brain present between thalamus and hypothalamus midbrain plus hind brain forms the stem of the brain hind brain it consists of pons cerebellum and medulla medulla is further attached to spinal cord and is responsible for regulation of gastric acid secretion respiration and certain cardiovascular activities reflex action and reflex arc response to peripheral nervous stimulation which do not involve cns is known as reflex action have you ever wondered that whenever your hand comes close to any object which is extremely hot or extremely cold or any rough surface automatically as soon as you are about to touch the surface automatically you move your hand away this is because of the reflex action you can see in this diagram here we are showing knee jerk reflex arc you can see how efferent pathway efferent pathways are working and how this conduction is happening and how it is going to the gray matter of the spinal cord and how this jerk is taking place this pathway consists of efferent one efferent neuron and one efferent neuron efferent neuron is responsible for carrying the signal and further transmitting it to spinal cord and efferent is responsible for carrying the signal from the cns to the effector region and hence this forms a reflex arc as you can see in the diagram